I'm a victim. I'm a survivor. I'm a mourner. I turn my eyes to the heavens. Where will my help come? My help comes from God. So God, why us? Why couldn't he turn his car a different direction? I began services at 9.45. The shooting started a few minutes after. There were 12 of us in the sanctuary at that time. I helped pull out the people that I could from the front. But alas, I had eight people in the back. One fortunately survived. Seven of my congregants were shot dead in my sanctuary. My holy place has been defiled. I thought to myself the 23rd Psalm, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Well, God, I want. What I want, you can't give me. You can't return these 11 beautiful souls. You can't rewind the clock. What I want, you can't give me. But it, it says, I shall not want. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. With love. From strangers. People who are not from the United States. Jewish, Christian, Muslim, all with the same message. We are here for you. That's how you defeat hate. God says, I recognize that from his youth, man is prone to evil. What a depressing thought. Isn't there a chance for good? The answer is, yes, there is. You don't have to follow the prone to evil path. We can also be prone to good if you decide to take that path. It starts with speech. Words of hate are unwelcome in Pittsburgh. It starts with everyone in this room. And I want to address for a moment some of our political leaders who are here. Ladies and gentlemen, it has to start with you as our leaders. Stop the words of hate. If it comes from you, Americans will listen. Independent of what happens tonight, independent of what any of our elected officials choose to do from here on, it's us. We, the people. It starts with one simple step. Just stop the hate. Don't say it. It just takes one person to make that difference. The question I have for you is, any of you that person?